Hey everyone, it's Frank from Motivate here. Over the past year, we've been doing a lot of research and development. Now, we're going to give you a sneak peek of what you're going to see on future episodes of Motivate's Do-It-Yourself Garage. Have you ever wondered how hot the differential oil gets? Well, we did. So we figured out a way to install an engine coolant sensor from a Nissan Sentra in the drain plug of the differential and wired it to our homemade data recorder. Then we wondered about how hot the gear oil in the manual transmission gets. So we installed another engine coolant sensor in the drain plug of the manual transmission and also connected it to the data recorder. Now, moving on to the engine, let's look at fuel pressure. Using CJ Motorsports 2 bolt fuel tap, we installed a 100 psi pressure sensor and recorded the fuel pressure 80 times per second while driving the car just to see how much it changes from idle to wide open throttle. And we have a pressure sensor connected directly to the crankcase and record the crankcase pressure 80 times per second. Then we deleted the PCB system by venting the crankcase to the atmosphere and recorded the pressures again over multiple days. This will finally answer the question, does a PCB delete lower crankcase pressure or increase it? We have the answer. And just for fun, why not record the power steering fluid temperature? We couldn't leave out engine oil pressure and temperature. We installed the 150 PSI pressure sensor and also recorded that 80 times per second. And we figured out a way to tap into the existing engine oil temperature sensor without the ECU knowing. And looking at the data, we found the oil pressure to be much higher than expected. Now, you may be wondering, what do all these sensors connect to? Well, they connect to this. Motivate's homemade, inexpensive data recorder that records eight sensors, 80 times per second, plus air temperature, atmospheric air pressure, humidity, and engine RPM. All the sensor data is written to an SD card in a comma separated value or CSV file that can be easily imported into a spreadsheet program for analysis. Over the last six months, we data logged all of these sensors just to get a good idea of typical values for pressure and temperature for different driving conditions. And we found a couple of things that were really interesting and they will be shared in a future episode. When we were researching crankcase ventilation, we needed to understand what happens inside the upper intake manifold and inside the valve cover. So we pick some up and cut them open as you can see here. In a future video, we will show you the insides and explain the function of different parts. By the way, they're way more complicated than you may think. Now, another way to understand what's going on inside your engine is to use a built-in diagnostic port. Now, to do this, you will need a OBD scanner like these and an app. We're gonna focus on OBD Fusion and Torque Pro. We're gonna show you how to view, graph, and save your data to a file. Now, some of the data we have access to is quite interesting, like fuel trims, air fuel ratio, engine airflow, engine RPM. There's quite a long list. Now, this can also be useful for troubleshooting. And of course, because it's an OBD app, we can also use it to find out why the check engine light is on and retrieve the code to start our troubleshooting. Now, I think you'll like this next item. As far as I am aware, there's nothing else like it for Nissan and Infinity vehicles. We are developing a plug and play gauge. It can display engine coolant temperature, engine oil temperature, and even automatic transmission fluid temperature. And unlike most gauges, you don't have to connect the sensor, figure out the wiring from the sensor to get it to the inside where the interior is, find a power source for the gauge. You don't have to do any of that. For this, all you do is you plug it in and it turns on. There it is, Motivate DIY, and there is our engine oil temperature and our transmission oil temperature. So right here, this is the engine oil temperature sensor from a G37, and this is a G37 ECU. So if I put my fingers on it to warm it up, we'll see it go from 28 to 29. And this is a transmission control module from a G37. And if I put my finger on the temperature sensor, we'll see it go up as well. There we are. In looking forward, we're going to be evaluating if we should be making a Bluetooth app for this device. This way you'll be able to get this data on your phone. On-vehicle testing is underway right now, and we may be looking for beta testers. So please stay tuned for updates. And we're going to show you how to build this easy to assemble $15 tool 
that will allow you to copy the ECU program to an SD card in about five minutes on a 370Z or a G37. Wouldn't it be nice to do your own tuning, to use free open source tools to do that? Well, that's what we're working towards. Now there's a lot more work that needs to be done, but the first step is to get the data out of the ECU and we've done that. Now, speaking of that data, we'll give you a quick tour of the data. It's got a bit of a defined structure and some funny things that are in it. We'll show you. We will also cut open the ECU module and have a look on the inside and talk about each section of the board and describe its function. And so there you have it. After more than a thousand hours of research, designing circuits, wiring, programming, and other things I can't remember. Now, if you want to be the first to see these videos and support this channel, please consider joining my Patreon group. Any support is greatly appreciated as it will allow us to continue to provide high quality and unique content focused on Nissan and Infiniti vehicles. I think we got some great stuff coming your way. We've given you a teaser. Now it's time for me to get to work and get editing. Thank you for watching.